Now you'll notice as I do that to build up contrast, <clears throat> you start seeing a color cast. That reminds me, let's drop it to grayscale. Now, now we go to levels. It's a little more clear here. We 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 all we're gonna do is make this a black and white. We we don't need any color. And just bringing the sliders closer together. It's about as good as you're gonna get. You'll see some of the JPEG artifacts here. Alright, can't really tell when I zoom out what I did, but when you zoom in, you can see the difference. Look at those artifacts right here. On the outer edge. Nasty. <clears throat> Hit OK. So now you have your signature. And, um, you know, if you have a Word document, the uh, Word document will... Place it. Uh, you just use the place command in Word. And of course, if you're putting this into uh, other places, it might function a little differently. But um, here you go, your file. You should save it. Um, now, one thing you might need to do in some cases is you might actually need to separate this from the background. A real quick way to do it would be the uh, what's called the magic wand tool but you could also try something that I think is, is a little nicer and it's called um, color range it's under the select menu make our make our selection preview what I call quick mask click on the black there and grab the plus pointer and just make sure you get a little bit. See, so choosing from other areas. It, they're really about the same, I think. Just gets you nice and sure. Fuzziness will expand it a little bit into the grayer areas. And you see the preview in here. It's pretty solid. Hit OK. Now there's your selection going. Now in Elements, or even Photoshop, you can save the selection. And we'll call this outline. You know. So now this can be imported. And uh, I'll show you something neat. You know, for those of you who might just be starting out in uh, graphic design and uh, layout you might have to jump into something like InDesign or Quark Express or whatever and you actually have to put a signature into the document but you need to have a transparent background because the object on which you're going to put the signature has a solid color or an image gradient of, of sorts this should help um, Sometimes the path, uh, I don't quite remember if InDesign would um, take that. We might have to convert it to a path, but let's try it. So I'll grab a solid color here. So now we're in InDesign. We're, we're in a different program. This is just for our graphic designer friends. So we have a solid color here. We'll go to... Uh, First, I need to save. Let's save our signature. All right. Let's just jump around, try different things. Place. And um, grab that. Boom. Isn't that nice? I placed it right in there though. I want to place it outside. There we go. Kind of built it kind of took its own signature. <laughs> took took made its own transparency. Let's see if we can make a transparency from this. 
So we bring the box in a little bit. This is how it normally will place. This is this is the default. So let's see if it can detect the edges. Great. We'll do a clipping path, which which means it'll drop the background based on the alpha channel. Alpha channel. This is not an element. It's over here. And there's the outline. There's that selection we made. We saved. It's called an alpha channel. So I have uh, told InDesign to grab it. I'll hit preview. Not bad. Not bad. And that's actually what it. <laughs> that's actually what it is because I didn't go in there and fix those. Okay. So you have to do a more complete alpha channel. See. And sometimes it doesn't really. Eh, I did do it complete. We have the inside. Sometimes it doesn't quite work. So what do we do? We're like, oh my God, I'm on a deadline.